Prime Minister Prayut chan -cha leading the show launching Thailand's max COVID-19 vaccine rollout. It's a plan that has been heavily criticized for confusing and conflicting information. This while the country of 70 million is facing its worst wave of COVID-19 that arrived in early April. One focus of public frustration, the contract between AstraZeneca and the Thai firm CM Bioscience for jab production, the backbone of the mass vaccine program. The firm is owned by Thailand's king, making it difficult for the government if anything goes wrong. The company's connection to the king makes it nearly untouchable. Because it was a fix to begin with, the government's authority was constrained. Uh, if this were other, some other company, uh, they could have gone after this company. It could have been uh, more demanding uh, for transparency, for details. It could have been uh, a punitive terms. He went on to say that it's also a big gamble for AstraZeneca to sign a contract with Siam Bioscience, as its production is for the region, not just Thailand. And before this, the firm had no experience manufacturing a vaccine. An order to the Philippines has already been delayed and reduced. The government says they don't have a target number for this initial stage of the mass vaccine rollout, but they are aiming for 70% of the population by the end of the year. We will try to give out as many vaccines as we can for this vaccine rollout. New vaccine batches will be delivered every few days. But one goal that has been announced, 100 million jabs this year. Any hope of reaching that target hinges on a reliable and steady source of vaccines, which is not yet happening. The main opposition figure has been calling for more transparency in the vaccine plan. Some of his past comments about the king-owned Siam Bioscience, known as SBS, led to charges of royal defamation. If we look back, what would happen if there is no Thai government, AstraZeneca and SBS deal? I believe that we would have got more vaccines from a more diverse sources faster. In the past several weeks, the government has realized the need to diversify its vaccine stocks, signing contracts with other major firms, Johnson & Johnson and Pfizer. But a critical issue remains. With much of the world scrambling for vaccines, it might take some time before imported jabs can make their way to Thailand. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.